Yo YouTube, what's going on today? We are going to be giving you guys a $400 gaming PC build. Now, I'm not going to say this is going to max out every game, but this is a good starting PC. Now, we have two versions, an Intel version and an AMD version. People both have their own uh, opinion, but I compared both CPUs on CPUBoss.com and the Intel Core i3 did score higher. Now, note it only has two cores. The uh, AMD, the one I chose, was the AMD A10 7850K. This has 3.7 gigahertz. The quad core processor, the quad core is pretty good, pretty good for gaming. While the Intel one I've selected is the Intel Core i3. Uh, dash for 400, 4,166, uh, 3.6 gigahertz, and it's only dual core. So, yeah, that is only dual core, but it can be hyper threaded. So, just so you guys can know, so it is hyper threaded. Now, uh, for so I'll be going off, uh, let's go over the similar uh, similarities between the uh, two builds first. Note both builds can be found in the description, so be sure to check those out. So both both builds both have the same case, video card storage and memory. So for the memory, I went to a crucial eight gigabyte of RAM, one by eight. So you could always grab another one point uh, one by eight card DDR3 uh, RAM stick. So if you get another one, when you get the forty bucks, they're actually really cheap. Forty bucks for an eight gigabyte of RAM, that's awesome. So yeah, if you get another one, you get six sixteen gigs. Then we got a weird Hitachi Death Star, one terabyte. I haven't really heard this company, but it's pretty good for a budget build, only forty-two dollars. And then we have the Gigabyte Radeon R7 362 uh, two gigabyte video card. I have a two gigabyte video card. It can handle both of my uh, monitors I have set up. It could run Minecraft and CS:GO and a bunch of games pretty well, actually. Call of Duty World at War, I play quite a bit and runs that perfectly fine. DayZ, it gets a little sketchy, but that game is in development. Um, then we have the Logis CS uh, 390-69BK uh, uh, case. With, the, with that, it has a 480-watt power supply. That's pretty cool. So it's like a little combo for only $38. So that is all of the similarities. Now, I told you guys the CPUs. Now we're going to be talking about the motherboard. Now, the AMD motherboard can support 64 gigabytes of RAM, while the Intel one only supports um, 16. But 16 is the max I would go anyway. So, so for the C uh, Intel board, we got the MSI H. 81m p33 motherboard it's a decent motherboard actually um you know it's like good for f small form factors and a lot of amazing stuff and if you guys have any suggestions for the build and any improvements just tell me yeah and i'll improve it um it's my first video so you know bear with me <laughs> and then we have for the other uh build we have the gigabyte ga f 2A68HM-8H. Yeah. <laughs> these names, do For real, yo. But, yeah. Uh, these boards are really good. And, overall, the Intel board is 20 bucks under. But, no. These prices could change over time. So, be wary of that. So, if you guys have any suggestions for this, uh, you know, these PC builds or anything like that, please tell me down below. I'll definitely take suggestions. If you guys... Want a price for me to do next time? Tell me and I could try to do it. Yeah, no, if you guys enjoyed this video, uh, hit the like button and subscribe. If you didn't enjoy the video, dislike and tell me how I can improve. Yeah, and I'll see you guys later. Goodbye.